Hello my beautiful friend. So this time we're going to make a rainbow. It's really easy. Just follow me for a minute and uh, we're done. So le let's just have a look at what we have. We just have a plane that has a material. So if you don't have it, create a new material and you will have it here. I renamed it. And then I click here on texture and I attach it to this patch. So what is this patch? Let's ungroup it. You have to convert it to patch group before and then you can ungroup it. And this is the patch. It's really basic as you can see. Let's make the our plane a little bit bigger and maybe look like a flag just because you know what period of the year we're in and we love rainbows and we love peace so little patch let's remake it just because i think you can understand better the process so we need a gradient and we in a gradient we can choose if uh, having an horizontal vertical or circular gradient then we are adding this smooth step which i think it tells the range of our rainbow of our gradient and it's zero and one already by default just keep it like that then you want a pack and you want to turn it back to four because we want to be able to control these three value and then we need a color space and we have to turn the input color to HSV and then as you can see we connect it here you don't see anything because we have to match these parameters, these values here. And now you start to see the effect. So let's go with one. And then we go with zero, comma five, and then one. And we have it back. And um, so yeah, I have a material in add. If you leave it on alpha, this is what you're going to see, as you know. You can turn down the opacity, but it's not the same results. If you want to go on add or screen if you want this kind of effect. And uh, you know, now it's just static. If you want, of course, you can just throw it inside a face tracker. Then you, you now can, it will move around with you. But so let's look, let's first have a look at the gradient. So it's horizontal now, we can have it vertical and we can have it circular. This is what we can achieve. And then I think if we, if we change these parameters, maybe it's going to, yeah, it's going to offset a little bit as you can see where the rainbow is gonna look. I think this could be pretty cool if you have it like full size, not with the red, but with this kind of little rainbow just in the side here, let's say in the side of your screen to make kind of a VHS vintage looking camera. But let's go back to one. And uh, as you can see, uh, we can change the values here inside the pack. Let's try 0.5 for this one. Looks like it's changing the saturation. Yeah, let's start with changing the saturation. I like saturated rainbow. So you, you probably need one to saturation 0.5 transparency <clears throat> kind of oh, I start glowing that's cool let's keep it 0 0.8 and what is this 0 
Maybe this is the opacity and the other was kind of luminosity. I'm not sure about that. But, you know, just experiment. And then um, if you change this input and output color space, you get something different from a rainbow, but something still cool. So take a look, this kind of matte effect. And this kind of rainbow, but kind of vapor wave kind of palette, I think. And if you change, and it's, it's just the same, oh, you get this little line, little thing. I don't know, just try this point. And yeah, that's it. Now you can group it. Select everything, click right and go group. And now you can call it something like uh, my rainbow or my beautiful rainbow. And then you have it. Make sure you click again and convert it to patch assets so you have it here. And now you have made sure your patch will be saved in your computer somewhere.